Hey there, and welcome to my application for Global Vision's Digital Citizenship Ambassador Summit for 2019. My name is Jeffrey, though I prefer the name Gaia, and I'm here to tell you all about myself and why I hope to attend. To begin, I'm a university student at the University of New Brunswick in Fredericton, and I'm studying math, physics, and computer science. Though, bachelor programs aside, there's plenty about me that I feel makes me a unique fit for the summit. I like to define myself as a scientist and a political activist, and seeing as I've attended events such as SHAD, the National Youth Commonwealth Forum, and the Atlantic Canada Industrial Problem Solving Workshop in Mathematics, I have the experience to back up these claims. When on a team, I bring attributes from both sides of the table, combining skills in debate, logical reasoning, and my respective fields together to best achieve the goals set out. Whether it be industrial research, academic projects, or political decision making and compromise, I'm able to both represent mine and my team's beliefs and back it up while making sure my information is accurate. And others agree with this, seeing as I was the winner of the 2018 Schulich Leaders Award here at UMB. Now, moving on, there are many reasons as to why I want to represent my area at the summit. As my description of myself foretold, I have a passion for politics and for science, and thus, I try to attend as many events like this as possible, in hopes to increase my knowledge in both areas and to ensure that I build the skills necessary to work in these fields one day. This is where an event such as the Digital Citizenship Ambassador Summit comes in. Combining discussion and education in both tech and politics, while making sure to include how they connect with each other, this event is exactly something I'd want to be a part of. See, I come from a rural area in central Newfoundland, where it seems that no one feels like their voice is heard. Over a third of our population lives in the St. John's metro area, and if anyone can make a noise, it's them. And this is even more true on a federal scale, where most politicians don't even remember we exist, and where the focus is on debate and opinion instead of what science says needs to be done to solve modern pressing issues. I want to change that, and I believe that can be done by bringing careful research, fact-checking, and a whole lot of professionals into government, those who need to hear everyone's voice to make an accurate decision. But I need experience to do that, and this is one way I hope to get that experience. Now, there are plenty of issues that I believe need to be tackled as soon as possible, but to be able to do so, we need a lot of people who are mentally and physically prepared for such a task. For that reason, the first issue that must be solved is actually that of mental health. It's beyond obvious that mental health is on a decline, even to the point that those below the age of 12 seem to be, hopefully jokingly, giving up on living a long and happy life. And even if it is a joke, they seem to understand and feel the current global issues on a level they may be unable to handle. This is to be expected though. With such wide and easy access to information almost instantly, this is bound to happen. But we needn't let people suffer because of it. To face this issue, we need a lot of education, careful parenting, community support, and more professionals than anyone can imagine. We need community centers that provide care and fun events for our youth. We need mental health education through every stage of a person's life. We need access to resources and help at all times, at no cost to the user. We need to build a sense of love, of caring, and of community if we're to survive the coming years. Without it, our youth may not have the future we want to give them. This is why I hope to enter politics, and to attend this event, to build a world better than the one I was given. Thank you.